Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15, and welcome to turn number 30 of this Britannia Hot Seat campaign. And uh, I thank you all for coming to watch, and I think the music is actually a little bit loud. I'm a liar. Um, <laughs> wait, actually... Nah. Alright, anyway, turn to game. Um, yeah, I looked at the turn before recording this. I have, like, again, I don't move anything or try anything that's not ethical <laughs> in the hot seat, but I look at it and plan out my turn of what I want to do, and it looks terrible, so you'll see. Um, uh, General, uh, Ehrlich Milling, he's not very loyal, but from, ooh, some command, brave, skill bureaucrat, I don't really need him, though, so reject him. England, come and face the Steel Age of England. Apparently, I have no choice. I need time to prepare for more from the Kingdom of Ireland. All right. And finally, from Wales. Hail, King Magnus. You really need to retrain Prince Colbine on the martial, in the martial arts. He really went to Odin far too soon. Even if it looks rather drab, and we will paint the walls with new colors, and we will have washed the smoke stains from its walls, finding the new climate rather cold. By the way, I did think of letting your force, which landed live, but the Welsh people did not be slave. They did fight well, though. Yours, King Daffod. Um, did he get in based on that force? Because that might be the case, and that's unfortunate. So, we're going to have to plan this move accordingly, and I think I know a way to get this in here, because if you look, this is going to stop us if we try and click it to attack. So what we'll do is we'll send this Hi. unit. This is the smallest one we have, right? Yeah, the smallest and weakest. And it's going to be siege. Moving to engage. For whatever Lord, reason. Besieging then, honor to serve. we'll send the infantry yes. into that fort to regroup with this infantry, and then yes. send this all Orders to right into that spot. Forward. Then, we I'm have our final general, who will go right here, yes. and he will be able to attack. Hopefully. Right? Honor oh yeah, okay. So... The battle's in our favor. Let's hope for the best. Ooh, okay. So we killed 90 of them. Uh, Vic is killed not, apparently. He killed 30 of ours. And we're gonna execute. Man of the hour. Oh, he's gonna be adopted to the royal family. Sure. Of course. And there's the army now. Very beaten up. Can we still fight it? Better settle matters on the field of battle. Or what we could do is go around again and fight it here. Yes! <laughs> fight it again! Clear victory. We killed a lot more. He killed 22. Execute. Um, I'm not gonna take him. But this, this guy has been beaten up quite bad. So now what we can do is really just lay on lay on the pressure here. Apparently we don't have enough to build siege equipment, do we? Here, we can build some ra rams and ladders around here. Can I please attack him? Can't reach him, I don't think. But we'll just, you know... Use all of this. Actually, this guy can get ram, right? No, it's too expensive. But at least then we have some siege equipment to get inside with. I don't think he can build anything, can he? Not even a, ra a ladder. So we can get one ladder, but that's enough to let the auto resolve uh, fight this battle. But we will take Everness back. Rather hectically. On the field of oh, we beat that guy. Um, I it seems he has a fleet here. It's an enemy ship. So shoot, we might as well try and take it down. To board and it's three to two in our favor. Clear victory. My beat Lord, that one back. See if we can that find trail. it. Nope. We can sell no further today. But wait a minute. How did he get... Um... I just realized, he has a Welsh family member here, and the other one over here, which we pretty much beat up and he didn't die, unfortunately. Really, unfortunately, he didn't die. He should have died. Um, <laughs> tried hard to kill him. He'll probably escape with a fleet, too, which was unfortunate, but true. 
My lord. We have taken some casualties in this army. Moving to engage. But the north looks terrible, especially since he has this army here. Can't really counteract it. It's going to be painful. <sighs> really, really painful for us. And we only have 572 of the Florence. So he's probably going to take Wick and destroy it. Um, it seems to me we might have to destroy our own settlements. And now I'm wishing that I didn't use this guy to go over here. Because we could have used him to get mercenaries and attack this army back. But, you know, we kind of have to get rid of this. It's not a useful castle anyway. We got some money in the treasury. Now, um, what can this army do? Not much. It could be siege, the fort, and he wouldn't be able to attack it yet. He could sell you out, but this oh, army can't reach yet. Unfortunately. These guys can reach, though. That might be worth the uh, attempt. It really might be. So what we're going to do yes. My Lord. is put the catapults in here, I will make them send this fear. army to besiege that, we might get mercenary crossbowmen, because we can besiege them and really trap them in here. And if we can defeat this army, it'll be uh, good for us. I don't think this army can attack us. He doesn't have much in land with Kester. There's no way this army... Well, there might be a way that it can reach. Well, actually, it's going to be behind and won't be able to reach us. It'd have to go around this way. Where that might be possible, actually. But what we'll do here is send this army. We could actually send these troops with this one. So, it'll check the, ba the backs of our army, I guess. <laughs> I guess it shall. This, these two guys, can they reach here? Okay, yes, we can take that fort. Go here. At least we have some uh, free upkeep that way. What we'll do here is we have these guys I remember from before. They'll go into Castle Town, where they will retrain. We'll send King Magnus up yonder this way, and uh, he will regroup with the armies later on. These guys will join them. Apparently, we can't really do that yet. We can also... Oh no, I didn't check down here. Apparently, he's taken our army out. With what? Don't think from that. Sire. Is there... Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> fi and him. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. So, he took some casualties. Not that many, though. And apparently he defeated the entire army. Usually it retreats to somewhere. Maybe he trapped it? I don't know how he defeated the entire army, though. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. And oh, the English are blockading our board, so everything's just going terribly. Uh, it does not look good indeed. I thought this was bad, and now we have everything down here going even worse. Uh, we can't pull this through. We just have to try and hold the English back and try and regain. But it looks bleak for us. Because once he takes Wick, Everness has fallen. It's, it's really unfortunate. And it looks sad. We'll get these guys here. Um, yeah, it seems he beat back that force. However, unfortunately, from Newcastle, must have reinforced it somehow. Oh, this is going to be difficult. But what we can do, I will make them fear you. We might I want some mercenaries. Those are a thousand apiece. No way. What about up here? Not really, we can't do much, because it's under siege. 
we could get troops in Sterling. Also, I'm not sure what to do about Aberdeen now, because it was taken. Oh we, could, oh, we can't move Prince Goldbine at all, apparently. What can I move is the question. Can Edinburgh be happy without him? Not happy enough. And not enough money, more eyes. Um, we could send the peasants. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Yes, Lord. Confronting the enemy. Oh, he's got more. Where is he getting all these guys from? Can you not tell friend from foe? Where are all they coming from? These are all mercenaries, I think. But where is this? Where are all these generals coming from? He's just—he's a general factory. All right. At least that tells us what's going on there. Orders, my king. And can't really strike back yet. Um, can we get mercenaries? An honor to serve, my king. We can get mercenaries. Uh, can we get mercenaries? An honor we might to want serve, them. My no, we cannot. Wait, why are you guys unhappy now? You guys were happy a second ago. Weren't they? Oh, let's get you down to normal, that's why. That's why you're so unhappy. Yes. We could send oh, these guys to get ready for the assault on Aberdeen to retake it. I'm not sure. I feel like he's gonna take this forward and he'll be doomed. I respect so we can keep him in Earth. Enemy. Your will shall be obeyed. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting stuff going on. An honor to serve. Holders, my king. Could almost send these, uh... Holders, my king. Almost get An honor this guy in serve. here, but not quite, so it's not gonna be much worth. An honor to serve. You shall not relent, ever! I'm hoping, like, we have this force trapped, which is good, but we need enough to make sure he can't sally out well. So we'll get one of these crossbow men just to increase our odds a bit more. My Lord. I wish this would be closer, but it's not. <laughs> yes. Yes. <sighs> oh, this is such um it's the fall. This is our fall. Like, we've reached our greatest extent and we just have to fight and fight and hope that we can maybe hold the north. Um, we can do something with our last bit of money though. Get some troops. Some Huskarls up north and Sterling. That's about it. We can't afford anything else. Just wonder where the Welsh are getting all these stuff. Like, where is he getting these generals and he's destroying my north? I need a peace treaty, but I can't do it. And I might get even just back if we're lucky with the auto resolve. Um, we'll have. 3,000 next turn, which is a good portion of money. Maybe a little more, um, depending if he eliminates our entire army. Maybe not. Not sure. What we could do is blockade him back. He restarted... Yeah, that, that's, that was an, uh, a violation of our naval truth. Truce. So that is what he has done. We can get this um, fleet somewhere. At least blockade that. Cut some trade from the Welsh. Do something. Uh, we can look with our spy down this way. Yeah, this is a major force. What do you mean, Ireland, that you don't have a force to go take on the Welsh? What is this? I'm falling. I can't. I'm not going to be able to hold this. I feel like we want to hold the north. We want to keep. I want to keep Sterling and Perth, but if we have to sacrifice other settlements for our safety eventually, or at least, I mean, if we lose all Scotland, I can't really control it because I'm losing this war. I can't take these many guys on. And even if I had my move this army up north, we wouldn't be able to really do much, much of anything because the one thing we can protect is Wick, and that's under danger, and Everness is under multi-siege, and we can get inside. Which is nice. Yes. But we have all this, and an I don't know what he's gonna do, but at you. least we kept his armies at bay. But Wick is gonna be his. 
I don't think I'll be able to reach Kirkwall um, unless. Honor to serve, my lord. Yeah, mercenary cog. You can spend another more money on a mercenary cog, go up to Kirkwall, and I'm doomed there then. And uh, that's really unfortunate because he can just really, literally walk through my forts and places. We could get a higher garrison in Kirkwall. Maybe some spear militia, but that's not really, really going to help. Uh, we just have to hope that we can catch up to him. To? Gotta really hope to, because it's going no. down. Sadly. So, um, that's literally I, all I, I can do this turn. Literally. We could apply more pressure with Jean Salak. Uh, what does he have in here? Let's find out. Yes. These guys, they could come and help. I don't know how they'd fare against Jean Lamarck, so we'll just send him to besiege that. Just have some uh, resistance continuously going. That's going to cut us some money in the treasury. But at least we're making like 3,600. Because we can't support all this military. At least, at least it's a good thing about losing armies is that we can finally, you know, save stuff and get money. Just move our spies around and see what's going on. Sire, moving quietly. Yeah, it's going poorly. Until morning. Ah, yes. If I can negotiate my way to save myself, it might be good. But there's no way. There's the Welsh, pretty much have beaten me in the north. There, I have very little resistance up there, and all else is doomed. And I'm just recruiting these guys to protect Castletown because that's a military asset. At least with this force it'll be um, somewhat reputable. But up here we don't have much and our main force down here it's a pretty big hefty force but I just need to keep the English at bay because the one thing I want least, well the Welsh are like the most powerful to me it seems. Let's just take a peek at the stats. Uh, we're for some reason on top, but that's going to be going down since we're losing territory up north quickly. The Irish on the bottom, the English have apparently declined, but that's not much because we can only hold this town for so long. Um, militarily, we're on top by a lot, but that's going to be shooting down. Wales is going to be on top soon and be the most powerful. And then I'll be like, hey, England, yeah, remember me dying? That's kind of bad, but it's interesting. And the Irish have gone up a lot as well. Production-wise, apparently we've gone back up. I don't know how, because I haven't built any buildings. And everyone else is going down besides the Irish, who are always been consistent, apparently. Uh, territorially, we've gone down. We're going to still be going down. Wells are going up. Everyone else's stuff. Financially, we have healed ourselves a bit. Hopefully we can heal ourselves a bit more next turn. But I don't know. The English have plunder themselves and the Welsh are doing great and population nobody cares about but that is my turn guys and turn 30 you get the turn summary coming out after this so I hope you guys are looking forward to that and um, but I feel like we've reached our crest for now our power will be weakened even if we manage to save ourselves from this uh, current mess of a game I know if I get pushed back a lot at least then when I have scattered settlements I can convince someone to switch sides and be like okay someone else is rising power you got to deal with them and not me and try and regain what I had but as for now we're gonna be on the decline for a long time guys a real long time and uh, yeah that's a, it's unfortunate but it's true uh, I just gotta try and strike back where, where I can and really like push into the English and shut them down I feel like is my only move because if I can keep the English at bay here I can slowly dwindle the Welsh forces in the north I don't know how many more he's got sending up but it could be more and it could just ruin me it could ah it's a mess it really is and stupid blockades by the English stop it <laughs> so guys I thank you all for watching and I hope you guys like comment and subscribe and check out the other perspectives and I'll see you all next time once this turn manages to end itself the Norwegian kingdom of Britannia come on you can end oh, it's sad 
I really hope we can find a way through, but we're, we're as of now, going to fall unless anything changes. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.